Man, what a weekend. Lots of resin poured. Oh, oh I got one more to do. Sweet! All right, welcome to Mike's Pain Studio. I was gonna try to go live today, but uh, apparently you can't do that on a mobile device if you don't have enough subscribers or something. And I really didn't wanna take the time on a Saturday to uh, set up a webcam, which I've got. I might do at some point, but uh, apologize. We're not gonna go live right now. What I'm gonna do though, let's see if we can do this. Th there we go. That board is gonna get poured. And what I'm going to do, I know a lot of people will show you a project from start to finish. This is just going to be me pouring this board and then explaining what some of the other ones are. So stay tuned. Let's do it. All right. First, got to get on the rubber gloves because it's resin. Don't want to get resin on your hands. If you do, it's pretty sticky. And then I always use a nail polish remover. Okay, three to one. And uh, if you can't hear me, I'm just gonna speed this up anyway. So three to one, total about six set. Okay, I am ready to pour. I used the uh, Tim Holtz Ranger Alcohol Ink sail Sailboat Blue. And uh, I actually gotta have to put something on this burl here. This is a maple burl, spalted maple. I have to weigh it down because I don't have a clamp to put on it. I have a clamp to put on it. I'm not going to be using a clamp because I need my clamps for something else. So, we will hold that down with uh, some burnt umber. Not using it in this project other than just the weight to hold down the burl. So I'm hoping this is enough. If not, we'll have to mix up some more and uh, pour that too. But here we go. This is uh, hopefully pour number one and the only pour. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like, oh, looks like we might just have enough. It's going back behind here now. Back there. So we'll see. Once that fills in, I've still got more in here. So I think we just have enough, which is going to be. So wait, I hate having to mix more, but I don't have to. All right. Trying to pour it just right up to the top of the burl. Without going over the top, because I don't want to have to pull that paint bottle out. I think we're good. Oh man. That 
That is sweet. Okay, what else do I have going on here in uh, Mike's paint studio? Well, this is the uh, one of the Cruge boards. That'll be a 60-hole board. Um, this one will be 120. This one is being held down by the sophisticated pint, paint pint as well. Uh, just poured some dominoes. I've got some dominoes in the uh, paint studio, freshly poured. These are getting a second coat of resin on the back. These are They were see-through, so I painted the back. Now I put some resin on the back. We're gonna put one more coat on there though. Um, and then with the leftover resin, you know, we just pour things in molds. Uh, these are some Legos. I'll probably turn into earrings or magnets or something. I haven't decided yet. We'll figure it out. Uh, but yeah, we got lots of stuff going on here. Uh, here's the uh, mess. I'm sure a lot of you have a mess. Got coasters, you want some coasters? Let me know. Box of wood, some dominoes that have to be delivered, more wood, uh, check it out boards that have to be completed these have to be sanded this one just has to be drilled those have to be sanded all right thanks for watching like i said we'll try to figure out this live thing uh and we'll be live hopefully soon please like and subscribe share this video share my channel uh if you want to buy me a coffee there's a link in the description below too have a good weekend peace